This is Paint Life TV. I'm Chris the Idaho Painter, and this is Tool Tip Tuesday. And I've got a Titan Control Max sprayer right here. And if you want to know if you can hook a whip to one of these things, or if you can use other airless tips with your Control Max or Titan HA sprayer, I'm going to answer that question right here in this video. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. We've got a little small Titan HEA sprayer and there's a whole line of these sprayers and some of you might know them as Control Max sprayers. There's a whole line of Control Max sprayers. And then Wagner, who owns Titan, has the exact same sprayers, but they're yellow and black and they are the same sprayer, just a different color and different models. And all this stuff is gonna apply to those Wagner sprayers too. And one thing about these sprayers is these HEA sprayers, they have a very unusual gun to them. They have and have unusual fittings to them. These sprayers were designed to spray at low pressures, not like a typical airless sprayer. So Titan did not want you using other hoses, guns, or tips with this sprayer, so they made some proprietary ends, fittings, and tips specifically for these sprayers that can't be cross-used with other sprayers. So here's a typical Titan guard and tip that just left down there, and I got another one in front of me. I will grab that guard and that's what you would call a blooper, but this is a typical Titan garden tip that would go on, you know, a Titan 440, a Titan 410, a Titan 1140, all their same um, guns. Now, here's an unusual thing about this sprayer. You can take this guard off right here and both guards have what we call a 7 8 G thread, so both guards can be screwed on to this gun. So now you can take and screw this guard onto this gun right here, and now I can spray a 515 tip using this sprayer, but this sprayer was designed to run at lower pressures and not spray production tips. So you're not gonna get the performance out of this tip. You should not be doing that. You should be using only HEA, which is high efficiency airless tips designed to spray at low pressures. And that's what Titan has identified as their green tips. So the green tips are HEA tips. Now Titan does make green tips that go in all their professional model sprayers and not necessarily these are do-it-yourself model sprayers. There's a Titan tip. I had a customer contact me the other day, Paint Life Supply Co, and he could not get the tip he purchased from us into this guard, and that's correct. This tip will not function in this guard because it's a proprietary guard. It's a proprietary hose and whole setup. Titan does not want you using that tip in the guard. You can take this guard off. You can put a regular Titan guard with an HEA tip on and you can run this on this uh, little pump right here because this tip, these green tips are meant to run at low pressure between 800 and 1000 PSI and that setup will work for you. You really should not be running any other tips, the red tips, um, the purple tips, fine finish tips, the white tips, none of those tips you should be running in the Control Max sprayers that have these uh, proprietary guns and hoses. Now can you actually attach a whip to one of these hoses right here. They have, what well, it's what we have, a, a proprietary end. Titan has made an end on here that is not the same as any other airless hose. So you can't take another airless hose, put it on here and run it on this gun. These ends are completely different than every other quarter inch airless sprayer out there. But we at Paint Life Supply Co. have made it so you can actually run a whip that makes your gun more flexible and easy to manipulate on your hose. And we've got three fittings that actually make that work. And in our store, it's called our conversion kit. It's our Control Max conversion kit, and it's these three fittings that will now make it so one of our whips will work on your Control Max. All right, now let's attach our hose whip. So this is one of our custom hose whips. We're gonna attach this to our Titan HEA Control Max spray gun. So I'm just gonna unattach my spray gun right here. You wanna unscrew this. I'm going to remove my gun now, and I'm gonna take, I've got my three fittings already on my hose. I'm gonna take the one in that has the large fitting. This is gonna feed right through my guard, and then I'm going to attach this fitting on here, 
And then I'm gonna screw this on this gun right here, just like this. So this is all attached now. There's your fittings there. Now my other fittings, I've got my Control Max conversion kit with these two fittings right here. These fittings are screwed on right here. Together, these screw together. This is gonna screw on right here. Now this is gonna screw onto my hose. Now my hose and gun are adapted to work together. Now I have a much more flexible gun set up right here. Now, before you attach and hook these up permanently, you wanna use Teflon tape on these fittings and you want to tighten them up, snug them up very tight with Teflon tape so you don't get any leaking. Use water, turn it on, test it with water first before you run any paint through this thing because you don't want to load this thing up with paint and have paint leaking out of this. Test it with water first. The viscosity of water is thinner, so if you're going to get any leaking, it'll leak with water before it would leak with paint. So there is your setup right there. And that is our green whip. This setup will also, conversion kit will work with our green exit flex whip. We've got our gun all set up, ready to go. We've got some water here and we're going to put it to the pressure test to make sure we don't have any leaks. Okay, we got a leak right here because that's not tight enough. So we've got full pressure, we've got no leaks. We're gonna put on a tip, spray it with a tip, make sure our tip is all the way in, snugged, ready to go. It sprays, no leaks. There you have it, conversion kit is all set up. So there you have it, our adapter kit, our Control Max adapter kit is all hooked up on our custom whip. It's ready to go. It's pressure tested with water all the way up full pressure. Went through building it up pressure, made sure there's no leaks. I did have a little bit of leak here because this hose was not on tight enough, but it's good to go, ready to load up with paint. If you got any questions or comments about this setup, <laughs> this setup, and he had something to say also. So um, little guy, um, good that you said that. If you, not him, have anything to say down in the comment section below, any questions or comments, just let us know. We'll try to get to your questions and comments as soon as we can about this conversion kit. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's helped you at all, if it's answered any of your questions, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. That way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do, two clicks. It doesn't cost you anything now. It won't cost you anything ever. We're never gonna hit you with a bill for watching our videos. They're free. All 1,500 of them. We'll see you on our next video. Out.